Howdy ho, folks! Welcome to the Bobby Buzzard Show. <laughs> this is my second show. I did one yesterday. It was fantastic. Really good. Really good. So I thought I'd do number two. One, two. Two. That's right. Two. This is number two. And uh, you can tell it's Bobby Buzzard. Just to be sure, I always have a B on my head. That's right. A B on my head. Pardon me? Huh? Pardon? Oh, let me just check. The B is on my... Oh, yeah, you're right. The B is on my... It's on my hat, not on my head. The B is... There's no... The B is not on... The B is on my hat. It's not on my... My head. <laughs> oh! Now that is funny stuff, folks. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a good show. We got a whole bunch happening. Just to recap yesterday's show, what we did was uh, we had a bunch of hats, and I still have a bunch of hats here. And uh, we wait a minute, wait a minute. Got to get comfortable. <laughs> Forgot. I don't feel comfortable right now because I got these tight boots on. Let me just take my boots off and then we'll get started, okay? Okay. Here we go. Let's take this one off first. Okay. Now these boots, they're very tight, very tough to get off, but I can do it. Okay, that's, that's one. <laughs> now I'm going to take off the one over here on this side. Let me just grab this boot. I'm going to reach way down because this foot goes all the way to the floor. My leg is very long. It goes all the way down to the floor. Sometimes. Sometimes. Let me just grab this boot. The boots are tough. Cowboy boots are hard to get off. Whew. Whew well, that was, that was a lot of work. Anyway, Bobby Buzzard here. Like I was saying, we, had, we went through a bunch of hats yesterday, and I tried them all on, and we were going to decide together which one looks best on Bobby Buzzard. Uh, and so we did that. I had a lot of, lot of viewers yesterday, and you sent me little messages on, on Facebook, and you told me which hat looks good. But we went through just a ton of hats. Let's, I would like to estimate how many hats we went through. I'd like to estimate how many hats... Bobby Buzzard tried on yesterday. Let me just look. What is estimate? Huh? Oh, well, it's just a guess. You kind of make a, a guess. Of, it's like a, a guesstimate. <laughs> it's a, it's an, an estimate is a guess. That's really what it is. So let's just make an estimate of how many hats Bobby tried on yesterday. Let me just look at the pile. Well, I estimate that there was about 35 hats that we tried on yesterday. 35. Right. What? You think my estimate is a little high? Well, it might be. What can we do to be sure? Oh, we could count them. Yes. That's, that's a good idea. Let's count them. Let's count them together. And that way we will be 100% sure of how many hats Bob Buzzard tried on yesterday. Okay, here goes. One. Two. Oh, it's a beautiful hat. Three. Four and five. We tried on five hats yesterday, and I think everybody agrees the hat with the B on it looks the best. Makes Bobby Buzzard look fantastic. Oh well. That was a lot of work. I think it's, I think it's time for a break. You know, 
think it's time I got my I got my mug right here and people always say to me, you know, Bobby, do you hydrate? Do you hydrate? I said, of course I had my eight. I had many other numbers as well, but mostly I hydrate. I had, you know, I, I just don't remember where I put it sometimes. And uh, so I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to have a nice big drink of water right now because water is the best thing to drink, really. Water is the, is the best. And so uh, I'm just going to hydrate right now. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll show up somewhere. I'm not sure. That water is good. It gives you energy. It gets you, uh, gets you going. And uh, it's good because I've got a good story for you here today. An awesome, awesome story. One of my favorites. Now, I hope I can find it. It's somewhere in this bookshelf where I have a lot of books. It's going to be very difficult to find the book that I'm, I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of a book. It's one of my favorites. Let me just look in the bookshelf. I hope I can find it for you. Oh, there it is, right here. <laughs> Just right here. Here it is. Well, it wasn't that difficult. Anyway, this is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and it's by Eric Carl. Here goes one of my favorite stories. So exciting. So spectacular. All right. Here goes. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry Caterpillar. Well, he started to look for some food. There he is. He's looking around for food. I hope he finds some. I hope he does. <laughs> so, oh, he did. He did find some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Can you see the one apple? I can see it. Yeah. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Two pears. Two pears, that's four. Two, four, four, no, but there's only two. He ate two, one, one, two. It's confusing, this book. Makes you think. Makes you think. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Do you see? Two pears. I don't get it. I don't get it. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Three plums. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, that's today. On Friday, that's today. Friday is today. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Five oranges. Can you see them? One, two, three, four, five. Well, on Saturday, oh, <laughs> on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, cake, ice cream, pickle, cheese, salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie. Can you see the cherry pie? one sausage, one muffin, and one slice of watermelon. Can you see that watermelon? I love watermelon. That night, the little caterpillar, well, he had a stomach ache. <laughs> the next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through a one, one, only one nice green leaf. And after that, 
he felt much better. There he is. He just ate through one leaf, and he felt much better. Well, now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. And he built a small house called the Cocoon around himself. He stayed inside his cocoon for more than two weeks. Wow, that's exactly what's happening here in our town. Most people are staying inside of their house for more than two weeks. Wow, I haven't left the house for more than two weeks. That's true. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. There's the cocoon. The perfect house for a caterpillar. When he punched his way through, he came out and he was a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. That is beautiful. Oh, the end. Well, I hope I hope that you enjoyed that story because, you know, it's very relevant. And I hope when all of this uh, thing is over, that when we leave our houses, uh, we're all going to see all the beautiful butterflies everywhere in the world. <laughs> it's going to be a great, great time. And uh, I think that's just about it from me, Bobby Buzzer. I got one more thing. We're going to sing the goodbye song, and it goes like this. One. Two, you know what to do. Oh, you can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. You can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. But you can be happy if you just think about it. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, do it, do it, do it. Oh, you can't drive around with a tiger in your car. You can't drive around with the tiger in your car. You can't drive around with the tiger in your car. But you can be happy if you just think about it. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, do it, do it, do it. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, do it, do it, do it. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down, do it, do it, do it. Just do it. Just be happy. Just be happy, folks. It's pretty simple. Be happy. Anyway, that's all from me, Bobby Buzzard. Show number two is under my belt. It is done. I hope you have a great, beautiful, long, 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 long weekend. It just seems like the weekends are super long these days. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Okay. Bye-bye. Bobby Buzzard. So long. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. I've got to turn this thing off. How do you, how do, you do this on the computer? How, how do you turn off the computer? I can't stop the record. I can't. I don't know. What, oh, just the. Oh, got it. I got it. Okay, good. Good. Thanks for the advice. Bobby Buzzard needs a little help sometimes. <laughs>